The police are an ever-present part of our society, and let's have a little talk about what that means. As a society, we have accepted that we need a force of law, not just a system of laws, but a force behind those laws. And not just a force of implementation in a court system or legal system, but in a practical level of we accept that in society there are people who do not wish to obey the laws. Thus, we need a force to regulate and restrain those people when necessary. That is our police force. And we should all be very thankful that we have a police force. No matter what you think about corruption and all the stuff I'm going to talk about, we should first and foremost be thankful that we have a system of laws that isn't purely based on might makes right and the strong eat the weak. Now, that being said, we are in a system where we have humans as police officers. Thus, not all of them are going to be paragons of justice and virtuous people. But we must deal with them. They are part of our society and we're going to have to deal with that. Everybody is people. We're going to have to make peace with that and move on. And yes, right now especially, when we talk about police, we talk about a lot of corruption issues and abuse and scandal and problems of all kinds, and this tarnishes the name of them. This tarnishes the ideas behind them. But we still must survive with them being there because we can't eliminate them either. It's sort of damned if you do, damned if you don't right now. We need the police to regulate and order society, but at the same time, part of the problem is the police. And as such, let's talk a little bit about what that means on a practical level. Let's say you are stopped by a police officer for whatever reason, driving a car, walking in a store, doesn't matter. You, police officer, now just happened. First and foremost, whatever bravado, machismo, bullshit you got brewing inside of you, check it right there. Just check that shit at the door. When you are encountering the police in a real legal context, Understand, right then, that they have power over you. Yeah, you have rights. Yeah, you have all that good, happy shit that protects you. But in that moment, if he decides you're resisting arrest and takes a baton to your head, all of the legal rights in the world will not protect you from him raining blows down on your face. And people seem to often miss this point where they can't do that, right? They can't do that. Well, in that moment... Did it matter that they couldn't do that? No, no, they're checking you upside your head with a baton. They'll deal with the consequences later. You will deal with them right now. So, when the police are messing with you, for whatever reason, earned or not, go with it. Just, yeah, they may be entirely wrong. Maybe you have nothing to do with whatever they're talking to you about, but remember that core point. They have the power. If they're saying, you need to come to the station with us, Ask what you did wrong. Know your rights, by the way. Do your research on your rights when confronted with a police officer. But when they say, do something, comply. When they say, this is going to happen, go with it. Even if you're like, wait, this is pretty blatantly illegal. If you are alone with an officer, don't try that shit unless you really have evaluated the situation and understand that you're not dealing with a cop with a hard-on for violence and authority. Because unfortunately, we have a lot of them out there. It's not even the majority, but there's enough that this is a thing. It's a real issue. So, where does that leave you, huh? Go with the police when they're saying, come with us. Or when they say that, yeah, you're about to be arrested. Don't try to punch him in the face. Don't pull a gun. Don't scream at him. Just get arrested. And yeah, I know, that might be sending the wrong message or something. What about your rights and protest for them and stuff? Well, Pick your battles. That's what I have to respond to you with. Pick your battles. Know when standing up for your rights is the appropriate thing to do, and when stepping down and being like, all right, this may not be the right thing, but I know when I can't win. Know the difference between these two things. Yes, stand for your rights. Never think that I'm trying to say just acquiesce to whatever the tyrant says if he is being a tyrant. But Know when the tyrant has your neck in the guillotine, and know when is not the time to speak out. And then one day, eventually, you will be able to stand up and assert your rights. And again, knowing your rights can be amazingly helpful here. You can know what to say, when to say it, how to say it, in the right ways. But the best thing you can do, in fact, 
is keep your mouth shut, keep your head down, and do what they say until you have a lawyer present. And if it's not a situation that ends up with you in a station or with lawyers and stuff, but it's a cop just hassling you, don't hassle back. Don't fight back even. Just, yes sir, thank you sir, I'm not doing that sir, and let him go away. If you don't give him a reason to do anything, and he does something, then you have a recourse that comes to you later. You have rights, you have abilities. In certain situations, getting pushed around is better than getting beaten down. And your time to fight the injustice will come. Just that time, right with that guy in your face, right when he's screaming at you, get on the ground, that's probably not the time to suddenly assert your rights and stand up for yourself. So, I'm saying work with the police. Work with them, do your best to be a part of what they're doing, know your rights, observe your role, and try not to get hurt. That's the core thing of all of this. The police, if they feel pushed, if they feel ornery, or if they feel threatened, they can really hurt you, and they can get away with it. And many cases, they will, even if it was wrong. So don't put yourself in the position of taking a beating just because you feel like you've got a bone to pick right then. If you can do this when dealing with the police, you'll find that they're generally a bit stressed, overworked, but generally nice people. You'll find that they're not trying to personally pick a fight with you, and they'll probably move on. Now, if you are somebody doing something illegal and the police catch you, don't compound your issues by running and trying to kill them or fight them or whatever. You broke the laws of society. Whether or not you think you had a justification is for later. Whether or not you think that you had the right, that's also for later. What'll happen if you pick that fight right then is you'll probably just be a statistic. And nobody wants that. Just a few things to think about when traveling on your day in the life.